Are you ready for your co-main event of the evening? Bring them out, bring them out for your co-main event. Making his way out to the blue corner. Here comes Jason Witt. Robin, the man known as the Vanilla Gorilla is not going to get a warm reception coming to Burlington all the way from Minnesota. And he has a very sparkling 5-2 and two record coming into tonight's fights. But he's going to fight Ryan Dixon. Dixon is a talented cat. I like this Witt character, though. He likes to travel around. He'll take a trip anywhere to fight anybody. And he has a great submission game. That is Ryan's strength. But Witt has a number of submissions in his own right. And uh, hey, man, both of these guys very skilled on the ground. But I think Ryan's going to be a little taller. I think he's going to want to test his hands. We'll see. This is going to be a lot of fun. Ryan's super popular here in Burlington. And actually, Ryan, I stand corrected, or uh, Robin, I stand corrected on Jason Witt. Uh, I got my MIs mixed up. It's Missouri, not Minnesota, for the uh, Vanilla Gorilla fighting traditionally out of the Kansas City Fighting Association promotion, which is where he picked up his two wings so far in 2015. He's also appeared with Titan Fighting Championship, so he knows what it is to be on a big show. Yeah, and so does his coach, one of his coaches in corners here, James Crouch, uh, Kraus, I'm sorry. Uh, Kraus has had four or five fights now in the UFC, has a win over Sam Stout from the region, uh, which was in his UFC debut. Kraus won fight of the night and submission of the night that night, won himself 100 Gs. So if he can perform like his coach, I think his he's going to do pretty damn well. Making his way out to the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ryan Dixon. Well, you knew this was going to be loud. One of Burlington's own, one of their favorites, Ryan Dixon. And this is a guy who's been all the way from coast to coast in Canada and even down into the States. Four wins in his last five. And Robin, he appeared back when we did Global Warriors number one in his professional debut when he armbarred Brett Biederman. Since then, his career has just been on an upward trajectory. Yeah, a great fighter. Comes uh, down the line from Jeff Jocelyn, a UFC vet and Canadian pioneer. And Ryan is, has a hell of a good top game. Vicious, vicious top game. And heavy punches. Likes to lead with that right hand. And if he lands it, you go down. A uh, lot of confidence. Interesting kid. He's equal parts analytical and mongo. You know, just goes for it. Uh, he's really fun to watch. A pleasure to call his fights. Four wins out of his last five. C.J. Marsh, Sean Fitzsimmons, Avery McFader, and then a title win over Dave Mazzani. All in that run, unfortunately, Ryan would then lose that title shortly thereafter to Jason Fisher. But Robin, every time he's in the cage, it's a great fight. He never disappoints. And even in that fight against Fisher, if things had gone just a little differently, he'd still have that belt. It's true. And uh, we might not have him here if that was the case, because an 11 and two with, and Mazzani is a great win. You know, we might be watching him fight in the UFC. So, you know, his loss might be our viewers' gain in this fight because, uh, you know, with a, with a sound win here, I don't think we'll see him on the regional circuit anymore. But, you know, if Jason Witt can beat him, a lot of fighters in the UFC have six wins when they're over quality guys like Dixon. winner of this fight certainly moves up the ranks in a big way. And Ryan Dixon looks absolutely motivated. He is ready to go. And Jason Witt is going to have to be ready for a storm that's going to come at him once that opening bell rings. I'm really excited to see what he does, how Witt approaches this, whether he bites down and digs in right away or, you know, moves and analyzes a little bit. Kraus, his coach, is a very smart fighter, very crafty fighter, so we'll see. 
This fight at 162 pound catch weight. And we'll go into the cage. Here we go, Burlington, Ontario, Canada. The following contest is your co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for three rounds at a catchweight division. Introducing your fighters first. Fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing the blue trunks. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall. He weighed in at 162 pounds. He's a well-rounded mixed martial artist. Bringing with him to the cage a record of five wins and only two losses. Representing Glory MMA and Fitness, fighting out of Kansas City, Missouri, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Jason, the Vanilla Gorilla Wit. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the black trunks trimmed in white. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall, he weighed in at 162 pounds. He's a freestyle mixed martial artist, bringing with him to the cage a record of 10 wins and only three losses, with eight of those wins coming by way of submission and two big wins coming by way of knockout. Representing Jocelyn's MMA, fighting out of Ancaster, Ontario, you... Here is... Ryan Dixon! <laughs> Referee Brian Beauchamp. Okay, gentlemen, where were my instructions in the back room? I want a clean, fair fight. If I ask you to stop, stop everything you're doing. Let's touch gloves, make it official. An interesting story coming into this one, Robin, is that Jason Witt is a natural 170-pound fighter. Ryan Dixon began his career at 170, but has found his most recent success at 155. He's gone back up to fight this one, while Witt is coming down a bit. Who does that favor? Yeah, it's interesting. I think Witt understands that his frame is best at 155, his height. 5'10", you can see his thickness. He's gonna have a hard time getting to 55, but he's gonna do it, and that'll be his advanced weight. That'll be his world-class weight. So he, this is a step that way. It's perfect for him. Halfway there. Witt came flying in with that uppercut as Dixon trying to walk him down. Witt again tried the uppercut, landed a left hand over the top. Yeah, and you, both guys' faces already have some, uh, some redness on it. That right uppercut left hook combo is a nice one. This time he went left hook, right uppercut, left hook. So he's playing with him a little bit. You can see, although he's a submission guy, he thinks the advantage for him will be on the feet and on top. That and he's probably right. That uppercut is finding a home for Witt. Oh. And Dixon got stunned and dropped. Jason Witt is on top. Ryan Dixon is down, and this fight is over! Wow. The Vanilla Gorilla just spoiled the party. Jason Witt TKO's Ryan Dixon. And they definitely should have tried to stop uh, Dixon from getting up so quick. Although he's on his feet, he's okay, but he, there's a real wobble to him. That was a great stoppage. That was a very, very good stoppage. He was definitely hurt. And a great, clean win, man. Witt's hands look. Excellent. Listen to how uh, the crowd, how do they put it? And the crowd goes mild. Yeah, that's it, Robin. This is the, almost the same reaction we got a little bit earlier on when Lyndon Whitlock fell to Mike Hernandez. The crowd almost stunned in silence as Ryan Dixon is still not happy. He wanted yeah. to fight. But yeah. Jason Witt just put a storm on him. Well, he could be unhappy about the loss now, too. Like, he's reacting, you know, com he's upset. He's not upset, I don't think, at the stoppage. If he is, when he watches back and sees the wobble in his legs, he'll understand that the ref's job is to protect him, and the ref did a damn good job of it. What he'll be disappointed at is the loss here at home and the loss of momentum. Kid was looking fantastic in his career. Now he's two losses in a row. And uh, that's tough to take. Yeah, we know that Ryan Dixon will be back, and he's obviously still upset with himself, but this is a very talented young fighter who just got caught by another up-and-comer. And, man, we saw Mike Hernandez make an impact earlier, a real yeah. statement, and now we see Jason Witt do the same. Two Americans tonight mm -hmm. have stepped out. Witt did a great job here tonight. 
So Ryan Dixon still standing disappointed. Jason Witt with a major step in his career as we go back into the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause, please, for both of the fighters in this cage. <laughs> Referee Brian Beauchamp steps in to stop this contest at one minute of the first round for your winner by TKO, Jason, the Vanilla Gorilla Wit. Sounded like they were gonna try to cut you because you were American or something. They were not happy about that, but that was a very impressive performance. Ladies and gentlemen, first let's hear for Ryan Dixon. Dixon came out here and fought his heart out against a very talented kid in Jason Witt. Now, Jason, you started off super comfortable, and uh, it looked like you were laying traps with, for him with that uppercut left hook combination and kind of varied it up. Was that the game, kind of stay in the pocket and throw different combinations, play with him a little bit? The, you know, the game plan, I knew that dude was gonna be tough. You know, he has twice as many fights as I do, and I, I've watched him fight. I came into this fight super nervous knowing how good that guy was. But my game plan was just get on the bike and move, you know? Throw punches and don't stay in that pocket. I didn't want to. I didn't want to be there because I was, you know, that, that was my game plan. Just stick and move and keep going. In particular, you threw the right uppercut, left hook. Once it landed, you faked the right uppercut, hook, uppercut, hook, and landed it twice. Is that something you work on, or are you just kind of improvising on that? I uh, know that's something we work on. That's something we've, me and my coaches hit all the time. We hit in the back room multiple times today. It's just something new, something different that just happened to work. I broke down one of your coaches' fights, James Crouch. How good of a coach is this cat? He's phenomenal. Not just like inside the cage. Shut up. Not just inside the cage, but you know, outside as as a as a true friend, as a as a mentor, you could say whatever. He's just a, he's a solid guy. Before you thank him and everybody else, ladies and gentlemen, James Crouch is going to be fighting Darren Crookshank, who you saw in the corner here tonight. Good luck to both of you gentlemen. You're both Americans, so we don't care who wins. Listen, man, thank you, friends, and then go get yourself a beer. Thank you so much, sir. I appreciate it. Cheers, man. Congratulations. Your winner, Jason Witt.